All right, here we are inside the uh, new 272 VRK. Uh, again, uh, what a great layout. We've been asked for some smaller, more compact layouts in the Touring Edition. Uh, again, this one's about uh, it's 27 foot box, so you're looking at uh, about a 31 foot to overall length, 7,200 pounds roughly, but it's amazing layout inside. One of the two things that you have to have for a great layout in a travel trailer. All right, who said uh, who said countertops and storage? You're absolutely right. So uh, let's start out with the pantry. It's an amazing pantry, huge. You can never have too much space. Just think of all the stuff you can fit in there. And it's right inside the entry door, so easy access, and right next to the kitchen countertop. So if we move to the kitchen uh, countertop side here, what you'll see is a couple things. We have uh, the Safe Tech storage box which has a couple of uh, power points on the top you have 110 in usb good place to recharge your electronics so they're not laying out all over the place or even uh, hiding your keys or a wallet or anything you just don't want laying out in the open all right and then look at this counter space all right another key is you know counter space and storage and all the storage uh, over the top i mean for a small camper, this is fantastic. We even we even include a, a venture cutting board or charcuterie board, right? You can lay your charcuterie uh, out on this. So uh, nice, nice little feature. Look at the size of these drawers. You've got 30 inch drawers, or 32, I think they are inch drawers, which is almost unheard of. This is like something you have in your gourmet kitchen at home. Of course, solid surface countertops, stainless steel sinks. You have. Uh, uh, a nice uh, spring-loaded uh, pull-down sprayer. Now look at the counter space. You got a corner cabinet, all the overhead space, and underneath you even got room to put a trash can. Well, again, almost unheard of in a travel trailer. Plus room for extra cases of soda or you know adult beverages, whatever you want in there. All right, uh, we have a Furion uh, cooktop here with a glass cover. All right, three burners, and then this year we've gone to a 21-inch oven, so uh, larger than what you generally see. Usually it's a 16-inch oven. Nice backsplash, microwave over the top, and also standard this year is the Furion 10 cubic foot 12-volt uh, refrigerator. It's massive, all right, and it's all 12-volt. Um, uh, this unit actually is equipped with the optional solar off-the-grid solar package as well. You've got a hundred amp, a uh, hundred watt uh, solar panel on the roof, and the controller built into the wall, which I'll show you in just a minute. But you know, again, storage and counter space—you can't get too much of either one of them. All right. Moving over to the booth dinette. This is actually the ash decor. The colors for this year are slate, which is a little darker, uh, kind of a brownish gray. And then ash, which is about the color of ash. <laughs> All right. But this will break down into a sleeping area. And then, of course, you have more storage below. But instead of putting a drawer, I love the fact that we do this. We put a 36-inch tote in there. So you take this into the house. You load it up you know, with whatever you want. You bring it out. You slide it in. You're done. And this isn't going to break like a drawer can. Because once you break one of those drawers, uh, they never work the same again. So Plus, what else can you use this for? There's all kinds of uses for this. Um, in the campground. Could be where you store your hot dog and marshmallow for us. Could be where all the extra shoes go. Could be all kinds of things. Alright. So, if, uh, Dave, let's slide around this side and look at this new panel that we have. We've consolidated all of our switches into this new, uh, new panel system. Alright, and it's all electronic. You can actually hook up to it and control a lot of the functions with your phone as well with your Bluetooth. So turning lights on and off and things of that nature. So really nice, that's new for this year as well. Okay, while we're here, let me mention too that our decors this year have changed quite a bit from what you're used to seeing. All right, this year we've introduced a modern farmhouse and in the kitchen, we've gone to antique white cabinetry. These are hand, uh, uh, hand rubbed, oil glazed, hand rubbed, oil rubbed, hang, I don't know. But they're, they're rubbed with oil in somebody's hand, okay? Um, and it's a great look. All right. Um, also, I didn't mention that the sink cover, there's two of these, but it also acts as a dish drainer. So this is a great place to put a hot pan.
pan or while you're washing dishes, lay your utensils and your dishes there to drain. But I love this feature because it's not just a flat board, it's, it's multi-purpose. And it just rolls up and you can put it out of the way. Okay? So super easy to use, super functional. All right, we'll stick that all back away. And now we'll move on and talk about the rest of the camper because we've gone to, in the rest of the camper, we've gone to an air lay, we've gone to an heirloom maple color, which is a medium brown, a little bit of gray in it. Okay, and you'll see that as we turn around here. Okay, so here's the heirloom maple color. It's kind of a medium brown, a little bit of gray in it, but it's a great accent also to the um, um, antique um, white kitchen that we have. I'll tell you, one of the features I absolutely love this year is our new furniture. All right, these are uh, Thomas Paine theater seats. They're super comfortable. They've got built-in heat and uh, a massage. Um, but one of the best things I love about it is you've got USB ports here in the other arm. And check this out. you got a little pop-up center with two USBs and a 110 outlet. Not only that, I think this is better than last year's version because last year we had a console here that you'd open the lid and you can put things inside. Look at this. This creates more seating. It's a third seat. So not only does it recline, you've got a great armrest, all your technology recharging, but you can actually sit an extra person here as well. So I think it's a great feature for our new product this year. All right, if we slide around the side here, the theater seats are right in front of the entertainment center. You've got a 40-inch uh, flat screen TV and a nice 30-inch uh, uh, fireplace, which, see, this is nice because you can mess with the colors. Look at that blue crystals. And let's go, uh, let's see. Uh, let's go... There, almost kind of a purple flame. So whatever kind of mood you're in, you can set your set your uh, fireplace to, and of course it has heat on it, and uh, it's rated for uh, a much larger space than what this is, about 500 uh, square feet. It will smoke you out of here. All right, um, have an extra pantry here. Again, can't have too much storage. Get in there a little better. And then over here is the controller for the solar panel on top. This is all go power uh, solar uh, equipment, uh, but this is where you monitor the energy and what's going on with your solar panels and your batteries, okay? Of course, into the bathroom here. As always, we have great bathrooms. Um, you have stainless steel sinks, metal faucets, porcelain commodes, nice big shower. You always get a medicine cabinet. And it's big enough to at least change your mind inside. Some of the bathrooms you get into and some of these trailers are so tiny you almost can't turn around. So, all right, let's go into the master bedroom. So what's great about the master bedroom is you walk in right into the foot of the bed. There's a ton of space here. You've got a king bed in the slide out. You've got an extra fireplace here, which again, you can change the settings on for whatever ambiance you want. And then the same big drawers, the huge drawers that you have in the kitchen, we also have in the bedroom here. And shelving and more storage on the side of the entertainment center. Great improvement, I think. Plus, you still have your shirt closet hanging and your storage above. You have the, the, the front seat here. It's a great place to put your shoes on in the morning or put your lay your clothes out for the next day. And what Dave's showing you right now is the Stormore nightstands. It's a great place to recharge electronics, put a book, anything. You know, it's a nice little cubby back in the back there. You'll also notice above the bed, we've got the same type of power outlets here. Um, and even set up if you are a CPAP user, this is a great place to put a CPAP. Under the bed, you have storage. This easily lifts out of the way. You can store all kinds of stuff underneath there as well. So, there you have it. This is the new 272 VRK rear kitchen model, 27 foot box, uh, 31 feet bumper to hitch, 
Um, 7,200 pounds, somewhere in there. Tons of storage, tons of counter space, more than you see in most 27 footers. So, hope you enjoyed taking a look at it. Thanks for coming to see us today. If you have any questions, be sure to uh, check us out on the website. You can email us, you can get on the Facebook, or of course, um, contact your local Venture RV dealer uh, for more information as well. Thanks for coming to see us. Take care.